Hey everybody, glad to be back with you. This is day 28 of the 30-day devotional in our journey guide. I <clears throat> uh, hope you've been enjoying it and excited to be back. But today's Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 2. Lots happened since the last time I got to be with you. Uh, Sanballat and Geshem sent to me saying, come and let us meet together at Hecapherim. Go figure the names. I don't understand all these names in the Bible, the way they come up or how to say them. But anyhow, Hecapherim in the plain of Ono or in the plain of Oh No, because he's going to be in trouble. Uh, but they intended to do me harm. And I sent a messenger to them saying, I am going, I'm doing a great work and I cannot come down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and come down to you? I love Nehemiah and, and his vision uh, because it's it's so focused and, you know, right now, everything's going great with building this wall and getting it done. The unity of the, the people that are involved in, in the building project and the unity of the people uh, that, that see where they're going. He's now got everybody on board with it and they're moving forward. And always there's going to be opposition. Always there's going to be uh, things that are going to come up that's going to try to thwart what God's going to do, because that's how the enemy works. He's nothing but a, a stinking lousy weasel. And I would say it to his face if, if he was right here because he is uh, a weasel and I hate the enemy. And so the enemy uh, in this case is Sanballat and, and he's coming against uh, uh, Nehemiah and trying to thwart the work that's going to take place. But Nehemiah isn't going to have a part of it, you know, and, and Nehemiah really has the unity of the people and unity is so important. Uh, it, it's not what I can do, but it's what we can do together. Because it's really part of the body. It's like looking back in Corinthians where, or forward into Corinthians where, you know, the body has many parts and, and all those parts work together to make the body the one, the one that it is or the whole. And, and one part can't say to the other that you're not important. You know, so, so in our situation or our case, every single person, every single piece in this, you know, that, that make up this 10,000 reasons, everybody plays their part. Uh, it doesn't matter how big or how small. The, 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 the important thing is that everybody plays. And, and when people are sitting on the sidelines, they're a spectator, not a participator. And spectators don't get anything done. They just, uh, you know, they kind of holler out at, at the crowd of, of what they would hope to be a part of. But they don't get to play in the game. You know, being in the game and being a part of what God's going to do that's what really matters and that's what really counts and that's why god really cares for us that that you know that's what's important to him so um in saying all that you know the unity of of who we are as christ place and where we're going and and what we get to be a part of is exciting and i'm excited to be on this journey uh you wait until next spring comes and and we start to break ground on on the on the building project and then you come into the summer and next fall and and people start to walk through this um there's going to be a buzz like none other and you're going to see growth like none other because everybody wants to be a part and and it's really the unity uh and and speaking that and and believing that and talking that and being a part of that it's that unity that really accomplishes the overall task so Again, glad to be on the journey with you, uh, unified with you, and, and excited to see what God's going to do. Just to be a part of it is so exciting. So uh, God bless you and have a great day.